Hi, welcome to uh, chapter two uh, of Greek 111. Uh, this will be quiz 2A, uh, fall 2020 at Bryan College. Um, what we're going to look at is the case system. And we went over this a little in class, but I want to give you the document here. And uh, this is kind of the biggest conceptual difference between English and Greek. Uh, Greek is driven as far as the nouns go by this case system, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, and then few examples of the vocative. And basically we have a case of the subject, uh, God creates the heavens and the earth, or the of case, uh, the love of God, uh, the data to or for God, um, give something to someone or do something for someone. And then the accusative case is uh, the case of the direct object. Now, in Greek, the most important thing to memorize is this chart on the definite article. This is the word the in Greek, and it has a separate form for the nominative uh, genitive, dative, accusative, it has separate for if you're with masculine nouns, feminine nouns, or neuter nouns. Now, why you want to be able to say this chart just at the drop of a hat is because, the, and I want you to really look at this, there are 138,000 words in the Greek New Testament, um, half of a quarter of a million words. Now, of those, 20,000 of those words belong to this chart. In other words, as, as big as the New Testament is, one out of every seven words uh, is this chart. So this chart is your absolute friend. Um, this chart will help you understand what case the noun is in, but you have to memorize it. So um, the most important thing I want you to be able to do for quiz 2A is to write this chart. And I found that you want to memorize it this way. Uh, ha, tu, to, ton, hoi, ton, tois, tus. You want to be able to say it that way. And then if the word is feminine, like RK, uh, uh, beginning is feminine. Uh, its w version of the word the is uh, hey, taste, tay, tain, high tone, tice, toss. And then the neuter ta, tu, to, ta. And then ta with an alpha doesn't sound much different. Uh, tone, toys, ta. So getting that down is going to help you. Uh, massively when it comes to uh, parsing these words. Now, in Greek, all words have a gender. Uh, some words in English have a gender, like we speak of boats as she's, but in Greek, every word has a gender. And so take a typical masculine word, uh, anthropos. These are the endings, os, u, o, on, et. Oi, own, ois, us, oi. Uh, matter of fact, uh, you know, if just wanted to help out, I could just uh, put these in red, and those would be the endings, os, u, o, and the anthropa is the root of the word. So os, u, o, on, e, uh, oi. Own, ois, us, oi. Uh, the feminine, uh, so this is a familiar word, RK. Um, uh, a, ace, a, ain, a, I own, ice, os, I. See, it's very similar to the definite article. On, u, o, on, on, a, own, ois, a, a. I think I have a, a little clearer, yeah, with this one. Once you know that, then you can come to the adjectival chart 
and uh, you already know it. Uh, you already can um, uh, let me just go back here uh, let me pin that and uh, highlight that in red and uh, highlight that in red and what you have then is the same chart you just uh, memorized from above, only now you take those exact same endings and you can put it on um, an adjective. And then I'll just uh, fix these for us. Um, you have all the adjectival endings. So um, that's the beauty of this case system is that once you realize what it's doing, uh, these charts just become your your best friend in terms of uh, being able to read uh, what's going on in um, uh, the noun. So what I want you to do, and here's a copy of Quiz 2, 2A, um, I want you to be able to uh, write out the definite article. This is the word the in all three uh, uh, genders, and then I want you to be able to do the um, endings for masculine word, feminine word, neuter word, and once you do that, um, you're going to be in great shape. Now, uh, don't worry about this translation. We'll we'll do that in class. Just leave that off. Um, uh, but get this chart down. Uh, get the definite article, get the endings chart down, because that is a chart that we'll build on over and over and over again uh, as we go through and progress in this language. Listen, thank you so much for your hard work. The day is going to come when we can sit down and uh, volume read, um, but little steps at a time until then. And so I'll look forward to seeing you Friday. Thanks.